I was just talking to my wife, man. I didn't do anything, man. Please. Freddie Ramirez. Also developing right now at noon, these newly released body cam video showing the moments Miami-Dade Police Director Freddie Ramirez was handcuffed hours before his suicide attempt. And this all happened while he and his wife were at a sheriff's conference going on in Tampa. Local 10's at Elise Garcia joins us live from Miami-Dade Police Headquarters in Doral with the video now released. Annalise. Christy Janice, in this video, we see the moments Tampa police respond to the hotel they were staying at for the sheriff's conference. Uh, they were responding to concerns of a witness that had seen Ramirez arguing with his wife and he pulled out a gun. Well, a report from Tampa PD does say that that after the incident, after they met with Ramirez, that uh, the he did not meet the criteria to be Baker acted. But you see the moment these officers and what they went through to try to prevent the tragedy that would happen. Weapons drawn as Tampa police officers make their approach behind a ballistics shield. They're responding to a 911 call claiming Miami Police Director Freddie Ramirez was seen pointing a gun at his face. Step out, show us your hands. What are you talking about? It's the police. Oh, step, step out, out show us your hands. Who else is with you? Come on, come back okay, here. Step out with your hands up, sir. Step out here. Step out here, ma'am. Come, hey, come to us. Come to the back. Come sir, to the step back. out here with your hands up. Is this for real? Hands up. 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 What are you doing? All right, let's we'll right. thing in a second, okay? You know, I'm the director of the Miami Police Department. I didn't do anything, so I don't understand. We're just having a heated conversation. We're fine. Okay. Tell us what happened outside between your wife. We were just talking. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just talking. I didn't touch her. You're going to ask her. I didn't do anything. Okay. Okay. Did you possibly have a gun on you at the time? I have a police gun. Yeah, yes, I do. Gun? Okay. Did anything okay. happen with the no, gun? No, sir, not did at all. Inter interactions happened? No, sir, not at all. Okay. No. Did you display the gun at all? No, no, sir. Okay. Okay? We had a discussion. What was the discussion about? Marcia, nothing, just talking about marriage stuff. We're good. Uh, you stuff that's going on at home. Okay. Yeah. Um, did he carry a weapon? He has a weapon because he's... He's the director of my media police department. I understand we're not talking about putting anyone in jail, but right. if, no. if someone's not in a right state of mind, the last thing. No, my husband's fine. Really He's hurt. just mad at me right now. Did he get physical at any point? No. Did he make at any all. threats at any no. point no. that he wanted to? No, nothing like that. Well, I have to ask these questions. I understand. I know you guys got to do what you got to do. Do you want to harm anyone right no, now? No, sir. I don't. Do you want to harm yourself? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Have you had any suicidal? No, I sir. These thoughts or concerns? No, sir. Not at all. I'm good. Okay. Have you made any suicidal threats? No, sir. People get plenty of demons from the job, as you guys all are probably aware of, and I know every button to push. And I'm pushing them today because I normally don't drink, and I drink today. Are you safe? Yes, I am. Do you have any concerns? For my safety, no. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. And I did speak to the department today about Ramirez and his condition. They did give us a bit of an update. They tell us that he is still in the hospital in Tampa. He is stable, but recovering well. I'm live in Doral, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News. That video very hard to watch. Okay, thank you so much, Annalise.